Hey all, my name is Arjun and today I'm going to show you how to make an interactive table of content in a Tableau dashboard. So here you can see, uh, this is one of, of the Tableau workbook called Global Sales Booking Dashboard. So the, this dashboard is a table content. So here is the boxes that you see. These are all the dashboard names that can be shown in this dashboard. So uh, the first one is the sales growth dashboard. So how this is interactive means uh, there are, let's suppose, uh, for example, I've given here, there are nine dashboard uh, in this workbook, let's say, and these are the nine, uh, all the dashboard names along with the description of the each dashboard, what it contains and what exactly that dashboard uh, shows, what metric it shows. So these are all the description for that. So uh, see how we how it will be uh, uh, interactive means suppose the first dashboard I want to see this is the definition for the sales growth dashboard now I want to go here so I'll click on this so it will take me to that sales growth dashboard the reason is here I have given blank there is no dashboard builds so this way you can do it uh, and suppose if you go back and if I click on the average revenue it will take me to the second dashboard that you will see here the first one is sales growth and the second one is revenue unit uh, and the third one is customer acquisition as of now it's blank there is no data at all just for an example i consider like this like this so i've given three dashboards and i've given the uh, connections for that so how and uh, you can do it similar way uh, you can do it in your uh, dashboards so uh, let's see how we can do this and uh, i'll show you that so the first uh, thing is uh, you need to create those many sheets uh, uh, let's say uh, I have shown here right you need to create these to be this in sheets so first first I'll do one thing first I'll uh, create a dashboard I'll take an empty dashboard and I'll go to the size and fit it okay so then you can take the containers I'm taking the vertical container one and other one is this text you can write the global sales dashboard sales booking dashboard dashboard table of content Times new, new Roman, I'll take it. I'll make it center aligned. Okay. And so uh, next is uh, we'll create uh, boxes. First, we'll create a boxes. Uh, take a uh, blank and drag one more blank. So now take horizontal container. Keep it like this and take one more horizontal container and take one more horizontal container. So now go to layout and check uh, you can remove the blanks. You can remove the blanks. okay so as of now that you can see only so i'll do one thing i'll take a border for this so that it is clearly visible and uh, yeah so suppose this is an horizontal container right so I'll, I'll i need to create three boxes inside this so i'll take a blank again and take one more blank and take the vertical
ओके नेक्स्ट सो गिव सम डिस्टेंस सो इवन फॉर दिस आल्सो एंड फॉर दिस आल्सो टेक द बॉर्डर एंड गिव दैट otherwise this will be uh, look at uh, like attached to the one box is attached to other so make sure that there should be some distance so that it looks good okay we have created one and uh, we'll create another similarly like that uh, what you can do is you can take a blank take another blank now drag the vertical containers okay so remove the blanks put a border over here see i'll show you how it looks so if you don't give yes it looks like this so better give some a uh, gap four i'm taking every bag okay so next is again uh, what you can do is you can drag the uh, it's already dragged okay not required you can take a blank again take uh, one more blank and uh, so there is some gap coming right so what i will do first i'll uh, put uh, distribute evenly for the main first the container we taken vertical distribute content evenly so that all box are fit in the exact size so we have taken the blanks right okay uh i'll take one more blank uh no i think we already taken okay i'll just take a vertical container again one and two three and remove the blank okay layout again give this distance board uh border okay so there are nine boxes are ready what like similar to what i shown in the first so now the thing is you need to create sheets uh let's say i'll create one blank sheet and put it as sales growth sales growth i'll give a dot name because there's a similar named sheet is that so sales growth and what it title give the title as it is or what i'll do i'll just give a space space okay sales growth you got it and now you need to think is you need to put the uh, text here i'll just an examples i just googled it and uh, i've taken a random names here don't consider this Uh, just a uh, some random names i have taken here similar way what you can do is so you can put the your descriptions what you want to put it in your dashboard or what the dashboard uh, uh description you want to give you can give it here put it in a labels 
given entire view okay and uh, this is done so so what I'm going to do I'm just drag the sales code here So now uh, format title, I want to show some shadings. So you can take any of the shading you want to take and uh, a title. Give it in a white color. then give a format and uh, you can write it as times new roman black okay so this is the one container so uh, similar way you can do it for all others so anyways i already the, all the contents are ready I'll just show you uh, dragging this sheet only over there. So I'll just unhide all sheets. Similar way, uh, what I mean to say is, like similar way you can uh, create a, as much this sheets uh, required. Uh, 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 the, like similar, how many dashboards are there? How many uh, description you want to put it in the table of contents? Or uh, based on the number of uh, number of dashboards you want to put, you can create as many sheets and drag it here. So the first one is sales and then the third one, uh, second one is this and I'll just drag the other one as well. Okay, so everything is already formatted and everything. So this way you can do it. It will be better like uh, if you write one description first and then duplicate that sheet and uh, or write on that uh, other description so that you can avoid the formatting. Uh, formatting more of the formatting works it's just uh, you can change all the headers colors and all rest will these all will be remain same so that way you can reduce it one way and so now all these are ready mm, similarly uh, let's I'll just format it as 11 okay okay so now again thing is uh, we need to uh, add uh, logos right that uh, logo as in uh, the symbols so if you want to put any symbols here you can do it uh, let's say uh, I'll show you how to do it here so first take one blank drag it here and give some this much space so here uh, okay so next is uh, you need to take it as an image that's an image so uh, I'll do a floating I'll put a floating image go to image now choose so this uh, here I already have a logos so this from here you can choose it so let's say I'll choose on this put it in a center image Okay, then this way you can drag it let's say for this customer acquisitions may choose 
this is in the customer acquisitions center this way and similarly if I want for revenue cost choose this image center okay this way you can do it so now uh, I need to do like uh, I need to connect the uh, dashboards now let's say if it is a sales growth I need to connect to the uh, dashboard particular so how I can do that go to dashboard actions go to actions so, so this is the previous ones similar way go to actions uh, go to sheets select all and unselect okay so the first is sales growth and it should go to sales growth okay then the other action is go to sheets customer acquisitions it should go to customer acquisitions dashboard if I select another one if I select uh, average revenue it should go to the average in it okay see now you are aligned the actions so let's see how it works yeah it's going right if I go over in dashboard five customer acquisitions correct and then average Yes, it's going here similar way you can do it for all you can add as much as uh, dashboards names or uh, here in the table of content and you can do it similar way actions and you can add the images as uh, as well and then another thing is here if you want to go back you can hear a uh, back button you can use the navigations and go back uh, use uh, give it back to the table of content using a navigation so you can create an action filters also again if you want to go back to the table of content from uh, each dashboard so that way you can do it so yes uh, I hope what I've shown in this uh, video uh, you understood and um, thank you thanks for watching